How y'all doing, people? How y'all doing, people? Come on in. Live out in front of Kizzy and Harrison Police Station, the Levin District, protesting uh, what we see as a uh, unjustifiable seizing of two young black men. And uh, as black men, I'm standing for these young men who the police have taken into custody. And, and this is, I've already talked to the superintendent of police, along with uh, Mark Carter, about the situation. And um, we just want them to know that you're not going to trump up charges on these young black men while we out here. And um, change the narrative, people. We are, we are the change we want to see. We're not going to allow that to happen on our watch. And we can't, it would be great if we could do, get to all the young men like this. But it's unfortunate that, you know, it has to happen in the first place. So we're trying to see what's happening. We're getting to the bottom of it. Um, from what we're trying to do is stop these, the police officers from charging these young men with robbery. And um, because they just randomly snatched these little guys up. And we're trying to get all the information. Uh, the, 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 one of the young men, mother, is out here. And she's at the police station as well. But this is Harrison and Kizzy police station. Mark Collin. Mark, what happened, bro? Right Tell the people what happened. Tell yeah, the people what happened. Yeah, we got two young men um, that were uh, uh, um, uh, at Keeler in Congress. Yeah, yeah. Keeler in Congress. And uh, the police officers had a car accident, couldn't catch the car that they were chasing, so they saw these two little young guys and locked them up, brought them to the station, and gave them the robbery, I guess, from the person that they were chasing. And so what we're doing is we're saying that not on our watch. That's right. Not, not on, on our, our watch, watch is men in the community not who happen to watch. be in the area. And just imagine if we weren't in the area. Right. But because we were just having to be in the area, we came to the station to address the issue. And now they're telling us that these young guys robbed somebody. But we know that they couldn't have robbed anybody because they were right behind us. Yeah. And so we were there witnesses yeah. that, that the car was up in front of us and we were between the car accident. I mean, we were behind the car accident. The car accident was between us uh, and the car that they had been chasing. And so as we were going well, around the block to, to, uh, uh, to, to go in a different direction, by the time we made it to the next block, they had these two young men on the car searching them and giving them an arm robbery, bringing them to the station. Wow, that's a, see, see folks, that's amazing. And, and this is what we're saying. As men in the community, we're not accepting it, we're not allowing that. We're not on our watch. It's not gonna happen. And it's gonna go on throughout the city. Them all the men and politicians are next. We coming to knock on all y'all doors because you are y'all around here letting these people railroad our son with these bogus ass laws right. and these bogus uh, uh, policies, and and you displacing our people with these these housing rules and laws. Go ahead, Mark. Well, the, the thing is, is that whether it's locking us up, taking our property, uh, taking our homes, and and, and, and uh, uh, taking our communities, and our these economic aldermen, these elected yeah. officials are, are, are allowing this to go on. And I want to say to everybody that's listening to this live that it is, it is this police station where multiple, I mean, millions of uh, uh, robberies. I'm gonna say millions of them, but you had, you had hundreds of thousands of robberies have happened. Police have been. The, this is this is the station where maybe 70, 80 percent of these robberies happen from this station here, and it's a majority black uh, 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 police uh, station. Yeah, and that's yeah, what's yeah, so sad yeah. about this situation. Yeah, in the, I, I, the 11th district. And so what we want everybody to do is to organize around exposing what's going on, organize also around opportunities going to our children. Stop putting the police on our on, on, on our children out here. Yeah. They out here putting the police on our children. You saying the elders. And it's, it's a shame that our, our own parents and grandparents have sided with the same system that sick dogs on them. They were, they were there side with these people and asked for deployment. Well, as we were here, we came here on unrelated business today and 
uh, the mayor was here, the superintendent was here, and they were here asking that the police deploy more officers. You see, right, you this is what the camera, right there's a, this, the yeah. camera's here yeah. so that they can deploy they can more officers, officers, not more community uh, uh, advocates like us to serve the community. They talking about police officers. Mm -hmm. They, this is why our tax dollars go. This is why our tax dollars go, not on prevention, not on prevention, but on responding. Mm -hmm. This is what they do. They respond. Here we are preventing, and we can't get a dollar from the city. But then they have millions of dollars to continue to give to the police to become a bigger police force. For who? White folks? I don't think so. A pair of military in our community. <laughs> Huh. Military. Yeah, so, so all we want to do, y'all, is, is make sure that we bring some exposure to these young people who've been brought in this station, you all. They brought them in this station, railroaded them and given them, uh, 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 they railroaded these young people and given them a robbery. No, we're not going to allow them to just give them a robbery. It's not happening. Just so happened we happen to be there to watch it unfold. And just imagine if we weren't there again, you know? So See, asking for the deployment of more officers. Why would you deploy more officers instead of resources for jobs and opportunities for these young people? Why is it always lock them up and throw away the key? You know, no rehabilitation. Just, in, just mass incarceration, more mass incarceration, and your black leadership was right along with it, with the white leadership of this city. Now listen, I went over there yesterday, and um, Juliana was stepping in for JB. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talking to black folks, black folks in the beauty salon, bro. It was a public, yeah, yes. And, and I was just, I just wanted to know about this, this racism that JB is constantly being heard that him. What's the truth to that? And mm -hmm. why are you supporting him backing as a lieutenant governor, mm -hmm. little black sister, mm -hmm. a racist? Man. That's what I want to know. That's what I wanted to know yesterday. That commander, right there. commander, are you the one that had these young men? These young men have just been given a robbery. Are you the one that gave the orders to lock these young men up? Two young men. This commander. Let, let What's this now? Nah. What's this place now? Nah. Did you give the orders to lock those little boys up and give them that bogus robbery? Did you do it? What's this plate number? Get his plate number. I got him. They don't care. They, they, and they, they, they black themselves. They don't care. It don't even matter. They have no mentorship program. They give no funding towards that. They give no funding towards economic self-sufficiency. They give none of that. They have no, the schools are even closed. Yes, sir. What? It's time that we call for all of our young people to come to the station. Since yep. they want to give all the money to the police station, why Give it to the, the young folk. Young people to come to the police station. Oh. To, uh, uh, to As the kids. Jobs and opportunities for construction. Yes. Jobs and opportunities to, to, to stay alive. Brother, they just took two young men in this station, gave them a robbery. You know, we just happened to be standing there as activists. We just happened to be standing there. And they just randomly chose two young men and gave them a robbery. And they, they're here having a meeting already. They were here with the mayor and the superintendent having a meeting to deploy more officers. More to police go out officers. Kill our children. Put dope on them and then blame the people instead of put the resources into putting them to work. So it makes better sense to put them to work than send them to jail, right? Why not rehabilitate instead of incarcerate? But even after you send them to jail, you have nothing for them when they return. Right. <laughs> so what's the problem? Look at the resources over here. Look at this parking lot. Let's add up. How much one of them trucks cost? I just want to know. Maybe $50,000, $60,000 per truck. Per truck. Fifty, sixty thousand per truck. Look at this. You talking about one they police just station? Cook the kids and eat them. Look, look, cooking them, huh? Just cook the kids and look. eat them. They don't look even at drive this. The car. Look at this. Look at the resources. As far as your eyes can see, all this is police department. All this is the police department. Man down, sir. Here, one ranger. You over there. Here, police. Yeah. yeah. It's, listen, nothing but black officers in this. It, it may, it might be, maybe, it might be ten percent white officers in this particular department over here. This is the eleventh district. No more business as usual. Aldermen, mayors, all you mayor candidates, you're gonna be held accountable as well. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna 
we're gonna do? We're gonna call a mass jobs and opportunity meeting right here. And, and see if they and see That's if they respond. Do. We're gonna call a mass jobs and opportunities versus police deployment at this police station. Wait, That's the mayor, the mayor is giving out money from his campaign coffers. I'm talking about he got like what Bad eight, loaded. six and eight million dollars. Is he buying them? I haven't them? seen him give nothing to the community. He's buying these aldermen. Duh, so they can keep going okay, that's what it is. Well, we, well we need to see each alderman. That's what we're going to do. That's we need to see the aldermen. Let's see the aldermen. My, my, listen, we can blame everybody we want to blame, but until we start holding these elected officials accountable and these pastors and these bootleg businessmen in our community accountable, the aldermen, that's what's happening. Let's just keep, the, keep an eye on this a little longer, people. We, j we just met with Superintendent Eddie Johnson. We just met with, uh, Commander, let me see his name. I just met with him about this young man. Let me bring his card up so you all can see it. He's the commander of this of, of the 11th district. He's a, he's a black man because everybody not a brother. They he a black man, and I talked to him about these young men. You have to you have to release them now. If you're gonna charge them with a lesser offense, do so. But don't you're not gonna bring these young men in this prison in this police station and charge them with no armed robbery just because you upset and you can't find the perpetrator. It's not gonna happen on our watch. <laughs> so stay tuned people, we're not done. We're gonna, that's what we're going to do. We're going to load up these buses and bring these young men up in front of this police so they're station. The police they're giving department. it to the police department. We want to know why our young sons and our cousins and nephews, can't, they can't use those resources to uh, put them to work. That's what we want to do. Let's just, let's just bring, yeah, let's just do that. How about that? That's, this is what needs to be done. So stay tuned, people. We're not done here. We're not done here. We're about to uh, stage a, a major demonstration. I love it. This is what it's about. Serving the people, serving the public, and, and holding individuals accountable. Especially politicians, lying politicians, and sellouts to our community. That's what we're about to do. Uh, moving forward, I want to deal with the aldermen, the congressmen, the, any state rep, and any of those individuals, state senators, all of them. Let's, let's talk to them about why young men are out here uh, hurting and starving and have to kill one another because uh, we have no resources for them. They just came over here talking about deploying 20 more. How many more police officers they wanted to deploy here? At this, as this one, at this, as this, as this 11 district, they want 100 new police officers. Please, they they already have them. They already, they already hired the hundred. That means more equipment. That means more salaries, more jobs to do what? What what you need more police for? For who? White folks or us? I'm telling you, this is what it's about. This is what it's about. Snatching our boys up off the street and creating employment and opportunity for the city of Chicago. For them. Not us. For them. And that's why she here. That's Fox News. They're here to talk about the deployment of the police here. I got it. Yeah, oh, so man's job. Yep. They're going to come up here. We, we, we put out flyers and say they got applications for jobs and opportunities. Right there. The station for construction yes. and all that since they get them all the money. Nice to meet you. You too. I got your email. Yes, ma'am. I'll email you so you can let me know what you guys are going to do. All yeah, right. We're going to bring them all here. Okay. 
Yeah. Bring them all here. Come on, come on, come on. All right, people. So stay tuned. We, this is going. We're going to focus on this spot right here. This 11. Harrison and kids, we're going to focus on this. We're going to bring all our shorties that's out there and we're going to put three or four bus loads of them young brothers and we want them, we want to let everybody know, shorties, we're going to get some of this money that they, they are lying for police officers to lock you up. Police officers, look at that. To lock you up. We're going to see why they can't give you some employment. We're going to see why we can't get them to use or divert some of that funding to employ some of these men that they're tempted to lock up. This is, the, this, this is the real narrative. This is the real narrative. Stop locking our sons up. I spent 21 years in that place and I met so many young men who shouldn't even be there. They, should, they might need the ass whooped or smacked a few times or given a hug, but they didn't need to be in prison. The cases that a lot of these young brothers are coming to prison on are, 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 are cases that young white boys will not even see, see the sale for. I'm just telling you, just, you start with DJJ. You ever, y'all ever been over there? What's that, what's that address, 11th and Hamilton? The DJJ, Department of Justice over there, Juvenile Justice, D, 11th and Hamilton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, them little brothers, man. I home. Them brothers starts right there. And they, they get a little case on you. They charge you. And then they get them little brothers probation. And after that, they, they headed to the penitentiary two, three years later. So um, this, is, this, has, this has to stop. And we, men has to stand up. And if, if, if not us, who? Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm telling you, this will not stop is just the beginning.